we want to multiply and simplify each product. First we have negative x times the quantity two x plus five. So we have a monomial times a binomial. To find this product we multiply the monomial by both terms inside the parentheses, which is called distribution. We want to distribute the negative x, which means we want to multiply negative x and positive two x, as well as negative x and positive five. If it's helpful, we can think of this as negative one x to the first, and the exponent x here is also one. So the first product is negative x times two x, or if we want negative one x to the first times two x to the first, which would be negative two x to the second. The next product is going to be negative x times positive five, which would be negative five x, so we write minus five x. These are not like terms, so this is our simplified product. And we have negative two x squared minus five x. Next we have x times the quantity x squared plus seven x minus four. So we have a monomial times a trinomial. We want to distribute the x, so notice how here we'll have three products. One, two, three. The exponent on this x is one, and the coefficient would also be one. So our first product is x times x squared, or if we want x to the first times x squared, that would be x to the third. Next we have x times seven x, or if we want x to the first times seven x to the first, that'd be positive seven x squared. So we write plus seven x squared. Our last product is x times negative four, that would be negative four x, so we write minus four x. Again, no like terms. So this is our simplified product. Next we have a binomial times a binomial. We have the quantity x plus eight times the quantity x minus six. Sometimes we'll refer to this multiplication as foiling. I prefer to think of this as double distribution. To find this product, we need to distribute this first x into the second binomial, so we'll have one two products here, and then we also need to distribute the second term of the first binomial into the second binomial. So we'll have one, two products here. Notice how we have a total of four products. And again, if it's helpful, we can think of this as x to the first, and this is x to the first. And again, both coefficients would be one. So let's keep track of our products. X times x, or x to the first times x to the first is x squared. Next we have x times negative six, that's negative six x, so we write minus six x. Our next product is eight times x, that's positive eight x, so we write plus eight x. And our last product is eight times negative six, that's negative 48, so we write minus 48. But notice here we do have two like terms. We have two x terms here, so we need to combine these. We have x squared, and then negative six x plus eight x is positive two x, so plus two x minus 48. This is our simplified product. Now for our last example, we have the quantity x plus nine squared, so we're squaring a binomial. There are no shortcuts here. We cannot just square both terms. We need to write out two factors of x plus nine and multiply like we normally would. So we have double distribution here, so we'll have four products. We distribute this x, so one, two products there, and then we distribute the nine. So we have two products here, a total of four products. Again, this is x to the first, and this is x to the first. So our first product is x times x, that's x squared. Then we have x times nine, that's positive nine x, so plus nine x. Next we have nine times x, so that's plus nine x. And then finally we have nine times nine, that's 81, so we have plus 81. And once again we have two like terms, two x terms here. Nine x plus nine x is equal to 18 x. So we have x squared plus 18 x plus 81 as our simplified product. And just remember, when squaring a binomial, there are no shortcuts. You need to write out both factors and multiply like we normally would. I hope you found this helpful.